You look troubled, Park. What is it that is on your mind? The Kral. They will return. I will challenge them. It is very noble of you. I would like to... No. No. It must be me. Alone. If we are to earn their respect. I will stand before them. I will challenge them. If that is what you wish, I'll let you have the fun this time. But know that we will be ready should the crowd prove to be less than honorable. We will riddle them, full of holes. That Hobbes is quite the inventor. His machines are efficient. Yes, but they still require our hands. That they do? But I'm sure we will not have to use them. You will run their leader into the ground, and they'll all run off afraid. It is not that simple. You know this. I, that I do. I am pulling your leg, Park. You need to lighten up, not be so glum all the time. Maybe try a smile. I will smile when those chosen of Kral are in the dirt. Well then, I will do my part to make sure that they stay dead. Let us make it so. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Kenshi. We are back here at the Sand Castle, which uh, I believe we are going to have to rename, as it really truly is a castle now. It is a castle, but it is a castle that can still be uh, overthrown. And, well, we've had some interesting encounters as of recent, the dust bandits that tried to cause us issue in the last, well, it didn't really turn out all that well for them. They don't have the greatest equipment in the world on them, but what they do have is something that we don't always have access to, and that is helmets. We can see that we're wearing the spiked helmet here, and yes, it does give you a minus to your perception, but really for our fighters, that isn't going to be as much of a issue now park you do have a few building materials on you my friend we're going to get you to drop those on the ground right now because as you can see park is actually back in the forge he is working those blades creating some new ones for us i am going to be pulling him away from there just for a little bit to go pick some things up for us but i have him working on nodachis yeah so we're going to be making nodachis and guardless blades nodachis for everyone else to be able to wield, and the guardless katanas to have as a kind of secondary weapon, should it be required, which, you know, quite often there is a good chance that you're going to need it. There is also a good chance that uh, this group here is going to wake back up, but we're going to try and see if we can work around that if we can. We're more than likely going to take boots as well, purely just because we aren't able to make many things like that still. Surprisingly enough, we just don't have some of those necessary blueprints to be able to make some of those. Uh, so we'll see what we can get from here, because this is effectively three... Th it's, it's, it's free. It's free stuff. They're not using it anymore, as they are dying. We could also take their blades as well, and potentially sell them on, but really at this stage, it's gonna be pennies at the end of the day. In saying that though, we are starting to go a little bit lower when it comes to our funds. But for now, I think we are still gonna be more than okay, purely just because we have a lot of money in raw resources. If we really did need to drop some well, we'll rather get an influx. We can get that. We can get that. And oh, look at that. It seems our boy Sand might be in a spot of trouble. He is currently running back from the hub. And I can't imagine there is anything that's really going to stop him. So we're going to let him continue on back here. He's going to be delivering an arm before he continues on to explore elsewhere in the world. Yeah. As to where that is, well, we might just have to wait and see. But for now, Park, my good man, we need you to drop off some of that equipment that you have just recently picked up. As, well, you can see Saru. Hong, for example, won't be wearing one of those helmets, but Saru, Saru, you most certainly can. As can others. Now, the standard grade is what we're going to want more often than not. And Saru, we might have to pull you back over here 
to get you to actually be able to utilize that properly. Saru is using the armored rags at the moment, but we probably want them to be using... Hmm... The trader leathers is actually really good, and this is specialist grade, so it's actually worth quite a lot. But Saru, you got to be close now at this stage. Let's have a look. Yes, you are. So we'll get you swapped off into some semi-decent equipment. And as for the samurai boots, we can see that uh, it does give us a negative to our combat speed. But really, I don't think it's going to be taking us down too much. So we're going to go for standard where we can. And we can see that we still need to be producing some shirts as well. Something that we will be doing eventually. But uh, more often than not, I'm going to sort through those things off camera. Uh, and I don't actually think we got you decked out in a helmet there. Strangely enough, I was sure that we grabbed one for you. But uh, I could have been completely wrong. And are you outside of trading range? No, you're not. And it looks like your spikes are going to go through that perfectly fine. You can see the Saru is still a little slowed down at this stage. We are still in recovery. But what we need to remember is that... Uh, our enemies are out there and they're effectively on their way to us yeah not the not the greatest scenario to be in we can see that we have our mercenaries here for another six days which is great in 21 hours the proving is going to arrive and in two days we have some bandit demands dust banders yet again and in five days the Shit Kingdom are going to be coming along and trying to take our food. Now, we could say no. We've contemplated saying no. However, the Shit Nation is strong and we do want them as allies. So we're going to have to find a way to make it work for us and work for them. And I'm sure we can find a way. We just need to be prepared for them to arrive. We know what they go for now. They search for, for food in our, like, our little animal pen here and also our barrel in here. We really do not have that much food right now, which is a little alarming. Kiji is working to help rectify that, producing a large number of chew sticks for us, but still, it is a bit of a slow process. Yeah, I'm only a little bit concerned. I feel like we should be a lot concerned, but we'll, we'll get there. Park, my friend, I feel like it's a little difficult to work with all of that in front of you, but he's nearly finished another guardless katana. After that, he's going to be moving on to his first Nodachi, and I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that it's going to be decent. Sand, you must be getting close, as I know you are fast. Yeah, he's getting there. He's almost at the way station. And you know what? I feel like it might be worth us stopping off at the way station. Even though we've been there recently, I still feel like we can get a little bit from it. Ooh, that's a slight concern. That's, that's that's more than a slight concern. That's not connected at all. It should be. <laughs> well, that we definitely have to rectify. As uh, he just walked straight through there. So, yeah. I don't know if we can. I might have to dismantle part of the wall for us to be able to do that. And what's kind of concerning is that we might actually lose quite a bit of the wall by doing that. Nope, just a tiny bit. That's good. We'll make sure that that actually does line up this time. Um, as sometimes, sometimes it can lie to us. And you know what? This might just be tricky, or almost too tricky for us to achieve. I'm going to have a little bit of play around here and see if we can get this thing sealed up. Okay, I have managed to get that squared away, and that's something that we are going to want to immediately get on top of. Green, where are you running off to? To be an engineer? How about we engineer this first? And Spot, I would like you to do the exact same thing. Sure, you say you don't have any building material, but let's make it happen. This definitely needs to be happening right now. <laughs> as soon as possible, as we know that uh, Proving is going to be on its way. Green, I think you are trying to help out here. Stubs and Hobbs, okay. You're also running somewhere. But the question is going to be... Yeah, I feel like we're going to need to force this thing out here because um, they seem to have other plans. Hobbs, my friend, I need you to get some building materials. And I need you to do that for us. This should still be, yep, many building materials inside of here. Hobbs, we are going to have you be our hero on this one. That means running inside here to pick up these, to get this thing going. So please, 
please, my friend. Assist us in this. Okay, that should be enough to get started. Now, how about you do just that? We will be checking in on Sand, because he should be arriving, or rather, he should already be at the way station. That he is. We just need to make sure that Hobbs actually does complete all of this. That's one down, and he seems to be continuing on with the others, so that leaves me hopeful that he's going to continue working on them. And yes, it looks like that's the case. We do have that one final little piece there, though. The piece of the puzzle that we need to make sure gets settled. And Hobbs and Spot, actually, are working on doing it. Okay, now we can rest a little bit easier, knowing that, well, uh, we don't have holes in our wall. Yeah. I can't remember if that was there last time, but it's certainly got me feeling a little uneasy knowing that it could have been the whole time. So, let us see. What do we need? We always need more fabric, so we're going to go and pick up some cotton here. Getting some wheat straw might be a decent idea. Allow us to get some more planted. Uh, you don't actually have a huge amount of space though, my friend, and we do need to leave some room for food, which is one of the main reasons why we are here at the moment and we didn't actually check out that engineer's map in the last something that we still need to do and after we've picked up some food here we'll do exactly that we we'll even grab the dried meat doesn't look like anything else is kind of repopulated yet so while i'm fortunate we have something i guess and let's go see where this location is and hmm Okay, we have a rune over here that supposedly has some engineering things for us. But we do have another area that's kind of equidistant, but uh, down in this region here, when we ran through, there were some areas that we hadn't fully explored. Now, going back into here, maybe not the greatest idea in the world, but you know what? I reckon we can do it. I reckon we can do it. And Sand is a busy man. He's not going to be standing still for long. He knows to help the Sand Castle. He needs to be out there in the world doing all he can to, uh, well, make us stronger. That does leave a lot of pressure on our team back at home, though, to uh, defend this place and keep it alive. And we know that we are running out of time until this proving is going to arrive and while these are coming along we are still in need of just copper over here well we definitely should be able to achieve that let's see how our stockpiles are looking at this stage i don't think we'll be keeping any copper over this side i believe it will still be down here and we're actually uh we're all out of copper and why is that? I'm assuming it's because we are going straight from here. And it's going it's getting taken straight to straight to these. So we've actually run through copper quite quickly, which does also mean that uh, Azumi can probably stop making components for us at this stage because she's been doing that for a good long while. And while it's it's helpful, uh, I think we can take it off for now because we probably have more than enough electrical components hanging out in here. We won't see that right now, but uh, I am assuming that is most certainly the case. And our diggers that are usually working on here, that's going to be Spot and Hanbu, which I think are helping us out by engineering at this stage. So we're just going to go ahead and just change that around again because, well, we have ran out of that resource. Yeah, got to make sure that I am managing that as much as we can. But hey, look at that. We've got light now. So we're not going to be working in darkness at the very least. Azumi is just kind of hanging out for now. There's not too much she can do in there at this stage. And we wait. We wait for the inevitable trouble that will arrive. And we also wait for Sand, who should be here by now. Your engineering, he just jumps straight back into work. Well, my friend, how about we go ahead and deliver that arm firebone? It's your lucky day. How about you go and trade with Sand? There we go. And you're close to each other, so Sand, just stand still for a moment. And let's get that arm transferred. Alright. There we are. Limbs. And... Let's try that again. <laughs> limbs. Limbs. And we have an arm for you. 
there we go. Stand as for the rest of your bits and pieces. We are going to get those dropped off. Let's see. Hemp isn't being converted right now. Let's hope that that will happen. And I doubt that you're able to drop these in from... A nope, you are actually within the trade range. How about that? As for the advanced science books, don't think we have enough in there still to really do all that much, but we will try before we send you off back out into the wild sand. And it's very dangerous to send them out alone, but I trust in our boy sand. So we've got seven there now. I think we needed eight to go up to the next stage of research. So we are just off. Yep, eight. Just off off that's frustrating we got to be so close yet so far away all right sand well you do still have some food with you that should last you you know a little while will you be able to make it i think you will and i think we're going to send you off now we do have the ancient lab in that direction i think what we're going to do is we're going to run up to this point here we know that the terrain around there is difficult to move around in, but I'm confident that Sand is going to be able to find a way to make that work. And while we do know that trouble is on its way, well, Sand needs to hope that the Sand Castle can take care of itself. While he is strong, he is most certainly not the strongest that's here. Okay, let's have a look. 18 hours. All right, so we've got a while longer. It's going to be in the wee hours of the morning that they end up arriving. With Sand running away, and with everyone else still working away back here, I'm gonna see if I can get some of our other folks here decked out and ready for what might be on its way. And here we are, once again, with Sand. Back within the crater. And I did see some flashing just recently, yes. Hmm. We are indeed being trailed by our favorite things. Big things, of course. They have followed us into this area, into the crater, into this really unusual looking place. This is a section of the map that we've seen from above and actually from the crater's rim. These strange formations, these oddly uniform clumps of steel and and I guess ore of some kind almost looks like glass we do have some structures in here or at least the remains of something so sand let's get exploring and at the same time trying to you know stay pretty aware of our surroundings or at the very least trying to we're about 14 hours away from the proving. Park is preparing himself mentally. We can get out of the rain down here, at least. But there doesn't seem to be much else there. So let's continue deeper on into this place. And it would seem that San has discovered something. A workshop deeper into here. Well, my friend, are you able to make it to there? from here it seems like the answer is yes and now I truly hope that we don't end up encountering anything with beaks or spiders or just really anything we can see some failed attempts at harvesting over there that's fine attempting will get you better and as we follow sand through this maze we can only hope that we're going to find something worthwhile and there is definitely something here another structure but this time there is more to it this could be what uh, yeah this could be what Sen's looking for the question is is there anything worthwhile here this does seem to be the location. But what, if anything, is there here? Well, in the words of Westworld, it 
doesn't look like anything to me. It looks like a structure of some kind, an old structure. Well, having had a good look around this place, it looks like it is empty. But we have discovered other locations like this before, so there's a chance that there still might be more out here. This could be just the first sign of there being something more to this place. It does seem to continue on very much in a grid, so we'll just have to see if we can find anything hidden amongst all of these rocky crags. Sand, let's continue on for now. What I am liking is the fact that we haven't seen any beak things yet. The chance is always, always there. Damn, I got really excited. I thought we'd discovered something. It's a wheat farm being upgraded, which I mean, hey, that's something, right? Oh, there is something here. Yeah, we can see that there definitely, there was definitely something going on here. A number of these complexes seem to be hidden amongst this grid. But where to from here, San? Towards the outer edge of it? Possibly. Possibly. It looks like it gets a little swampy down there. It gets me thinking of blood spiders, which, you know, not super keen on that. Let's head down this way. It is heading further up in that direction, leading us more into the crater. Perhaps there are more locations near the crater, but really we're not seeing anything else hidden amongst these crags. How about we start going that way, my friend? I gotta think if there is anything else that we probably would have spotted it. There being only that one workshop complex. I can't see there being many others. Hmm. At the very least, work has been complete on our turrets back home. So we know that things are in motion. There's actually a chance that Sand will be able to make it back before the proving. We might just need him yet. But no, we are not seeing anything else here. We are seeing a way out though. We're seeing a way into the swamps. The swamps we know are quite, quite dangerous. So I think either way we go right now, it's gonna be a little tricky. So my friend Sand, it seems like we have explored what we can in and around this area for now. I was really hoping that we would find something, but that is not the case. So what is gonna be the best way for us to get back home? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you're going to be able to find it. We're gonna trust in you, Sand. You are a very quick lad. We can only hope that you're gonna be fast enough to outrun any trouble that you might find by the exit of this thing, or the entrance. Looks like he is gonna go the swamp way, which, you know, that's probably the best way he could go. We know that there is a rune here, an empty rune, ah, empty. So yes, let's leave that be. No point in exploring that now. Yeah, he's gonna be running along the side all the way back to home, which, well, is looking a little bit more defendable with more of our turrets complete. There are still some that need to be uh, worked on, but kind of most importantly is the ones on the outside here are done. So we should be able to get a few shots at the enemy when they're further away and actually when they get closer, which I'm definitely on board with in case we have any real trouble. And oh, wow, you are a survivor. You have, you nearly have zero blood and you have survived somehow. That is incredibly impressive. Um, we do have folks who are working on disposing of bodies, but uh, it hasn't been done yet, which means it's a little bit further down on the priority list and there are other things that uh, need to be worked on. <laughs> and so with Sand running back and with this uh, potential proving on its way, we are going to once again advance through time until later on this evening. And Sand hasn't been without trouble. A number of spiders did try to chase him down as he was leaving the swamp. Now in the spider plains, there is a, a serious chance that he is still going to encounter some trouble, but there it is on the horizon, the sandcastle in all its glory. Still 
you know, not massive on the horizon, but a pretty damn decent sight running over this edge. It's hard to miss, and the Sheik most certainly know it's here. They are going to be returning to, well, collect their dues. Well, San has officially made it back in one piece, and San, you are going to be joining the Caton district, which is primarily built up of our crafters and the ones who make us cats. We have our districts starting to come into effect, the Iron District, the Leaf District, and the Caton District. We'll see, we might change the names depending on circumstances, but I feel like that will maybe stick for a while. Green, what are you doing there my friend? I feel like you're doing some interesting things. Oh, you just got a little stuck is all. So it seems like they still like to try and run down the back of there sometimes. I feel like we should maybe put something in there to stop them from doing that. <laughs> maybe we could build something. Yeah, because it seems to be a little bit of a highway. Hmm, what could we place? What could we place? We could actually place some more lights out there. They could actually help us out a fair amount. Now, I don't know whether we'll need a full-on light post, but I think even that might be enough to stop them. The power consumption on this, you can see, is pretty minor, but I think that would be enough to maybe stop them from trying to run around the back of this thing. We'll see. We'll see if that's going to be possible or not. The Iron District has really come along a fair amount. We can see that this is kind of the general path that they take and when they end up building homes, I'm going to try and keep this path intact as much as possible because it seems to be like, obviously the, the, the fastest they can make it is just going in this direct line from here to here. Obviously we do still have Stubbs and Jakku who work over here who run things across, but primarily all of our industry is taking place in and around this area here. Ruka producing all of those building materials for us and we should have a fair amount as we do stashed away here. We don't really seem to have that many iron plates surprisingly enough but I'm imagining there must be a fair amount of them that are going into the steel bar production and again we don't actually have much in the way of steel bars because I think all of them are going straight to the creation of these we have sand actually working up here I'm trying to put one of these turrets together how is that going you are just in need of copper well we do have copper being brought in by our two very good laborers, Habu and Spot. But um, yeah, again, we don't have much in the stockpiles because we're kind of using everything that we're producing right now. So even though we have all of these machines that are working very hard to make these iron plates for us, I'm pretty sure they're almost immediately getting moved around. Now, Park getting stuck there is a, is a little concerning. <laughs> Maybe having so many tight spaces aren't so good for our large fellows. But, you know, we'll see how they do. Sand, I think, is coming over here to collect some copper. Yeah, so they're not even getting a chance to drop it off, which means that they're constantly mining, so I guess that's something. But yeah, our engineers are going to be grabbing that copper quick, fast, and attempting to get these up and running, which I'm on board with. We are around about, uh, if I had to guess, I'd say five hours away. Five hours away. There we go. It wasn't like I checked just earlier, but yes, we are five hours away from the Sheik proving turning up. The Kral's chosen. I don't know if we can actually see them on the map yet or not. I would imagine they're coming from New Kralia, so this could be this group here, but I did also get told that a another faction here, we had some material traders coming our way, and we love materials, so I'm sure that we'll be happy to spend some of our hard-earned cats on those. Uh, we have also had, uh, I believe Hong was working over here on creating some materials for us and we do actually have some nice new samurai cloth pants. We also have some other high high grade pants here. Um, I don't know if we're going to get anyone decked out in them just yet because we have pants among everyone else that's here. What we're really lacking though is the the kind of under armor. Yes, we have one thing of chainmail there, which more than likely we will be giving to Sand in this instance, because I believe that was originally his. So yeah, Sand, let's get that back on you, because uh, I feel like that's going to be worthwhile. Yeah. Stolen. Stolen. Hardly. Hardly. And it's actually Sand that's jumped in here and has continued working on these cloth pants. We do have some more mercenary leather armor that has been ordered as well. Whether or not we can actually get through that, that remains to be seen because really fabric is almost always in hot, hot demand. And I don't think sand is, oh, rather park for that matter, has actually 
finished making one of those Nodachis for us yet, unless he's holding on to it himself, which he isn't. We're going to take that... Hmm. Are we going to keep it on or off? What's your dexterity like at the moment, my friend? It's actually pretty good. So I feel like he is more than accomplished enough as a martial artist to be able to uh, leave that weapon for now. But hopefully we won't need any of those weapons come the arrival of Kral's Chosen. But we'll see. We have our eyes out towards the hills. Our scouts have reported that they are on their way. We just need to wait. Well, we are not far away from the arrival of our friends. So we've been trying to get prepared as much as we can. Everyone is, uh, is loaded up for now on pretty much every turret we could find. There are still some spares. Saru, we can go ahead and get you on over here. Gary, we actually want you to pop on inside the wall here. And Ridley, while I do appreciate you standing your ground with us, I think we're gonna use you up here. And really, that just leaves sand. Because Park is gonna be outside. So Sand, we're gonna go ahead and position you here. Park, we're gonna get you to go outside to talk to these traders who have just arrived. So, these should be the material traders, I believe. They've arrived at a very interesting time because I think we are moments away, 48 minutes away from this proving beginning. We have all our animals running indoors at this stage. Saru is a little bit slow. That's okay. And it looks like we are already in some form of trouble. Yes, but what kind? Oh, there is one bone dog out here. This could be a little dangerous because... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can attack with Park, because if one of them try to shoot down at it, it could end really badly if we accidentally hit one of the others. So let's just see. Park, you should be able to take care of this thing easily enough. Quickly, if you can. Thank you very much, Park. And we'll just go ahead and collect some meat from that thing so it uh, stays down. Yeah, better that way. As for you, Park, let's go ahead. We are going to ask to trade. But what do we want to trade for? Well, getting some iron plates, that's that's okay. You've got some legs. I was really hoping to maybe have a little bit more farming supplies. And with materials, I really thought there would be more fabric than this. But alas, there is not. You sell books, that's cool at all. But really, we don't need building materials. And soon enough, we're going to have iron coming out of our ears. So while this has been fun, we're just going to say goodbye to you. We could have let them stay around for a little while longer. But, uh, yeah, no, I've kind of, uh, I'm thinking against that for now. Really, team, if we could get you back inside, that would be absolutely grand. If you would be so kind. I know they're a little hungry. I have been getting them fed on just some kind of basics, really. They've been surviving on chew sticks, like the rest of us. Um, Firebone still seems to be having a little bit of an issue getting away from here. Let's see. Ah, I think it's because you're passive. That's why you didn't want to jump onto any of these. But let's see if that's possible now. It looks like that's the case. Saru eventually will make it over here onto that other turret. <laughs> I appreciate your effort, Saru. And so, yeah, Park is just going to have to hang outside here until the others arrive. And we do want to get this internal gate closed. We're only going to worry about closing the other one when the others actually arrive. So, we're kind of just holding out for that. Park is just standing at the ready, waiting for what may come. And so, we will continue to wait. Supposedly, they are only four minutes away, and I gotta think, is that them here? Because I believe that's our traders running away. Yep, warning. Schick proving moving towards the sandcastle. So either it's one of those two groups here, or another. Who do we have wandering around out here? More hives. Interesting. Very interesting. So who then is coming for us? We have Sheik Scouts. Okay. Well, they are going to arrive from somewhere. Not on our map we could see, well, what looks to be an enemy. 
making their way towards us. Ah, from over here. Yeah, I'm going to take a wild guess that that is them there. So, what's going to happen? <laughs> are we going to end up facing their leader, or are they just going to gun us down? Well, Park is going to attempt to talk to them. If they choose to not talk, they're going to have to run this gauntlet. And believe me, I think that they probably could. We also have our guards on the inside, which will help us. But we'll kind of see how things go. Oh! Oh, Hobbs and Azumi are just kind of chilling out over here. Well, how nice. <laughs> Hobbs, we could actually make use of you, my friend. Believe it or not. We can get you up up the top there. It's a safe position as well, I promise you. Azumi, you can just chill out in the fields for now. But let's see, they are almost here now. Almost here. In Park, you are going to be the one that greets them. So right now we can't talk, but I'm assuming when they actually do get here, we'll be able to. And that's the war leader with an attack of 41. If we have a look at Park, he is 40 plus 14. So I'm guessing that's on top of the 40, or he's getting plus 14, which puts him up to 40. Either way, it's close to being like an even match. I think what we are going to do here as well is I'm actually going to drop these things on the ground. I don't want there to be any potential disadvantage to him, so... While we probably don't need to, we're going to go ahead and drop this stuff for now. Just keeping the medical supplies in there. Stand at Rudy Park. Let's see what happens. Okay. You should have left long ago. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. So, doesn't look like we can. Sure, maybe we could get Park to just say attack this target, but I gotta think that they are all going to try and attack, and that's exactly what's happened here. So I would hope that everyone is gonna start firing, and that they have. Park starts running to the side, and our first volley starts to do a decent amount of damage. Park is actually able to bring a number of them away. Okay, that's not a bad start. We're seeing a lot of damage, but then also a lot of damage coming in from them. That door is not going to last long, so we need to get that door closed. Dogmeat and Bonnie, you're going to be holding the interior there. I'm going to go ahead and close this door as well. We aren't going to close these doors yet. Probably just this rear door. Because we do need our turreters to filter back around if and when the real business starts happening. But Park... We need you to keep them busy out here. And so far, that's working. And I don't know if we've got any straight up kills yet, but we are having some fantastic shots fly through here. The Chosen of Kra, trying to knock their way through our gate and actually doing a pretty damn decent job at it. But Park, proving to be a speedy shake boy, is causing the lie out here all kinds of havoc. And, wow, that very well could have been a hit there, but... Oh... Did we? We've... We've taken them all down. <laughs> and to those of you who said this would not work... The Sandcastle stands strong. Are we worthy? Yes. We have proven ourselves, in a sense, to be worthy of the Sheik. Park dodging and weaving as he does. They have got they're, they're going down. At this point, Park attack all. Okay. Didn't really need to. And we did it. And guess what? They didn't even get through the front gate. That is the power of technology. That is the power of knowledge. And Hobbs right now must be feeling pretty damn smug. If I had to say, because here's Park, ready to be noble, ready to be, you know, <laughs> to prove himself, to fight their war leader. But no, they all lashed out against them. And then I'm pretty sure that all the way back here, Hobbs is just thinking to himself, hmm, well, I told you so, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Well, look where we are now. And with this, I am so happy. 
so so happy couldn't be happier with how that went that is an impressive battle if i say so myself they are down we have proven ourselves this time worthy now whether or not they get the message that remains to be seen i think they will they'll continue to throw more and more at us and probably more and more powerful units but for now at the very least we can actually start to get everyone back to work so i'm going to go ahead and put everyone back on their jobs and that should theoretically take them away from what they're doing at the moment or not or not let's go ahead and get these doors open and i will just command everyone to move away one by one <clears throat> so i'll say you can run back into here leaf district you can run back into here and Caton district you can run back into here and then everyone but the iron district is moving there we go everyone's on the move so park is going to be doing a little bit of work here we're going to go and open up that back gate and yeah we have a lot to go through here a lot of uh, things to pick up gary we need you to run on over here my friend and you know what i think just to be safe we're going to have our man green who i believe is part of the green district at the moment just come and camp out here for a little bit just keep an eye on things out here by the wall and open says me thank you very much gary you can now come through and look the guys didn't need to even do anything these mercenaries are probably just thinking this is the cushiest job in the world i mean the kraal's chosen showed up and they didn't even have to draw their blades there we go technology doing its thing so i'm gonna go ahead and loot as much as we can from the fallen kraal and i'll be back once we've done all of that and so things have gone pretty well for us here i have uh distributed some of the belongings of the kraal's chosen it does mean that there is a potential that we could be mistaken for being uh kraal's chosen we are wearing shirts and in some cases their helms but uh we're trying to see if this is going to work or if it's not if we piss off some shek we'll be sure to just leave that alone but for now it means that we are you know a little bit more protected across the board i have also upgraded everyone's boots just recently as well to the proper samurai uh boots rather than the smaller ones that we've been using so far it doesn't mean that we're going to be a little bit slower but overall i think it's just better protection and it's just going to mean a better time for all of us we are still held back by our lack of fabric so our hemp farming i'm really hoping it just gets better over time we actually do have some stashed away here i just need to be sure that this is actually getting run about and unfortunately our situation down here with these two uh they are still having a little bit of issue so what i might end up doing is just dismantling it and uh, we might even do the same with this one here and actually just shift it out away from the wall give them a chance to be able to run around so we'll go and get rid of that water there i think remen is just gonna immediately try to place it back in here because he's he's very good like that but yeah no thank you my friend we are at 100 over here so we definitely are going to need to have at least one other well uh i think we have one all the way up no we don't no okay well that's fine i think we are gonna chuck in one more here and then we're gonna jump forward in time yet again so with a little bit of peace finding our home again we're gonna be taking sand and dog meat here out on another expedition yes i think it's about time that these two hit the road once again dog meat coming along for the ride this time because well dog meat as we know is a very hate helpful helpful papa not hateful hateful towards our enemies that's for sure but where to with sand well we do have something of an inkling as to where we might be able to find some engineering research and it's at this tower here it's one that we discovered with our map it's going to take us a bit to get there but I'm confident that sand will be able to make it now I would love if they stood quite close together and they should be able to it looks like yeah they are matching each other's speed so let's hope that they're able to do that we could do a, a drive-by swim along the way but I think we're going to be okay we might end up doing that on the way back uh, dog meat decided to, to run back I think still trying to bodyguard Hambu so yeah instead let's try that one more time dog meat i need you to bodyguard sand this time around 
out. Yes, we are going to be trying to remain passive. I'll put them both on passive for now in the hopes that if they do encounter trouble, they'll just continue running. But um, yeah, I'm not so sure. I might actually just keep staying close on. So just have dog meat on follow. And again, it doesn't seem like this applies across the... Yeah, across everyone. Even though we did actually select it. <laughs> you think traveling across the map. I'd have that down by now, but no. Not even close to. Not even close to. All right, off you go. On your way, Sand. And he is out of here. So, our industry is pretty much on the go now. We are still completing a few of our final turrets, but our food is starting to flow back in as well. Something that we are going to have to kind of be watchful for. We have a whole heap of wheat straw on the ground at the moment. I am going through the process of upgrading a few of these along the way. We do have two large there. We're just going to keep on upgrading. We could probably actually get you up to a large. Let's go straight to a large. We'll see how we do. Just slowly upgrading them one by one. And already we have encountered some trouble. What trouble might that be? Ah, that kind of trouble. The kind of trouble that we can outrun. But uh, thankfully, we have managed to um, go through, actually, one of our food already. We might need to stop off somewhere on second thought. And we have a poor, unfortunate Garu that's just stuck in the center here. Yeah, sucks to be them. But for our friends here, I'm thinking maybe doing a quick stop off at that way station might actually be a good idea. Just to pick up some food along the way because, yeah, without it, we'd be risking it. And uh, I don't think it's quite worth that risk. So, have we had any kind of stockpile? And yeah, we do. We have something of a stockpile starting to build up and our copper is starting to build up as well. That's good news for all. Ridley, why are you running so slow? Because you're bringing water all the way up here to work on your crops and you're working on other things at the same time. What a legend. And our two buds have arrived up here and I've just noticed a major problem. Rosie and Barker are still trying to stay nice and close to dog meat because they are very good puppers like that. But that's not what we need you to be doing right now. In fact, it would be great if we could get you actually sticking close to Hanbu. <laughs> so hopefully they're going to run on back towards Hanbu. It's kind of cute that they tried to follow Dogmeat all the way up here. Adorable in fact, but uh, yeah. <laughs> For now we're just going to pick up some food and then hit the road, Jack. Uh, right, what are we going to want? Well, we might just have to go for food cubes here because they don't have anything else. Which is kind of unfortunate because they are expensive. Hopefully this is going to be a profitable trip for sand. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking it's going to be. Because at the very least if we don't find books, we might be able to find some other goodies. And while Dogmeat is very, very helpful, Dogmeat will probably be staying on the outside when we approach some of these rooms. On you go, sand. On you go. Tricky, tricky, tricky. While Barker and Rosie were running back down, they got attacked by two berserkers. We haven't seen berserkers for a good long while. So we're going to have to go and send a bit of a retaliation for that. And it's going to start with the guy named Park. Now Park's backpack and other things like that are still on the ground outside. I, I've literally just remembered. <laughs> But we're going to do some attacking here, and in my mind, this is not unprovoked attacking in the slightest. This is earned. This is deserved. And I'm intrigued to see how Park will do against two berserkers at this stage. I'm thinking he probably should have some kind of backup, so we're going to go ahead and start some sending some of that on his way. The Iron District, we are going to go ahead and mobilize and send them out towards these berserkers too park we will see how you do dodging and weaving to start things off while the others are going to be trying to make their way in here we'll see if yep we can get some strikes in he hasn't been hit yet a miss but oh did you see that a backhand knockout punches the guy holy crap park you are a fr th this is ridiculous you're a superstar my dude he hasn't been touched yet. Has not been... Okay, well, there we go. First hit. First hit. But I am incredibly impressed here, my friend. He knocked out that one just like that. The others are still trying to get out here. Stops. Running out as fast as he can. And Barker actually coming in to get some, re some revenge. 
Wow. I am very impressed, team. Very, very impressed. Park is... Park has come a long, long way in being easily the most proficient martial character that we have in our group here. Well, I guess the rest can just get back to work, can't they? And Park is going to run over there and start helping Rosie. I know it looks bad. Oh, poor Rosie. Poor Rosie. And I think he's going to go try and assist Parker there. But really, we need to uh, get Rosie back indoors. And I think with the Zuby running over here, I might try and see if we can pull off a little bit of a rescue. So how about we go pick up Rosie here and go and bring her back to one of the beds. Just one of the outside ones should be good enough. That way we'll actually remember that she is in one. Barker will recover. And wow, look at these. These bodies are still here. And actually, hello, what are you doing up and about? And I think you're actually trying to medic up some of the others. Well, we can't, we can't have that, can we? Park, you've already made it back inside, haven't you? Because you're incredibly fast. Well, Park, I think we need those martial skills once again. I'm going to go ahead and attack. And we say this is unprovoked, but really, it isn't. Are you just going to walk away? I mean, if you're leaving, leave. Yeah, you best be gone. Breen has gone back to work now as well, so he's not watching over this group here. Uh, these mercenaries, top notch, real good. <laughs> I mean, they're making sure no crimes happening, right? But uh, beyond that, really haven't done too much for us. <laughs> well, I thought it was about time to check in on our travelers. We can see that they've actually gotten quite far apart from each other. Which I guess is semi to be expected, but what we have discovered are holy mines along the way. The holy mines are, well, a location very much like what Sand has uh, experienced before. A place where we might be able to find some extra folks. We can hope that we might be able to help them. But that's something that we're going to have to do on the way back from this location. Dogmeat is still making her way along. A little nervous, given the direction that she is going. But she seems to know what she's doing, so I'm going to trust that she uh, <laughs> is going to be accompanying us to that same point still. Both of them still heading out towards the rune. Yeah, I'm a little concerned with this. You're going all the way down there? Yeah, and now you're having to back around. Yeah, so sometimes that pathing can go for some interesting decisions. Now alone, that's a dangerous position for Dogmeat to be in. But Dogmeat is pretty fast, so I'm not super concerned there. With 79 athletics, you've got to be one speedy girl. And I think you're actually going to get out faster than Sand, who might even be a little stuck now. No, no, he still seems to be finding his way as well. Uh, except, yeah, he is actually going to go the whole way back around. In that case, I think it probably is going to be beneficial to have the two meet back up again. So we'll see if we're able, you know, able to get them to do this. Speed around towards each other. Hopefully not encountering any trouble along the way. Yes, and with that, we're going to send them back off in that direction again towards the tower in the hopes that we can find something good. I tell you what, I was really wanting to push on until these two made it to the rune. But that is going to have to wait until the next. It's been a long episode. Maybe not as long in the runtime, but it's been a long one recording. I am very proud of how our team did today. We have bandits on their way as well. Those I'm sure we're going to be able to deal with without any issue whatsoever. Sand, I hope, can be successful in his mission. With that, we'll be able to equip and empower our Legion of the Free, and then really stick it to the Holy Nation. On the way back to the Sand Castle, I would hope that we might be able to free some more of those that have been taken by the Holy Nation. But for now, we can rest easy knowing that the Sand Castle is safe. We have survived the proving this time, 
worthy to stay. Now we just need to worry about the Sheik knocking on our door, expecting food. We'll have to do something to keep them satisfied. But that is all going to be in the future. Thank you for joining me for this episode. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.